Something that has fascinated me in recent months is the genre referred to as brain rot. A lot of things can fall under this umbrella, but generally speaking, it is the combination of video and audio that provide nothing of true intellectual stimulus, and instead serves to provide temporary and fleeting entertainment of the lowest caliber possible. However, every now and then, a piece of brain rot will have an interesting effect where I feel a strange connection to the surreal scenario it presents. One such example comes in the form of a sad chicken nugget in a cowboy hat, often recognized as the usual main character from the parody of Cotton Eye Joe that consists of catchy gibberish. This video resonates with me in that I think it reflects a state of being that many of us can relate to in one way or another. And whether it was intentionally crafted this way or not, there are several elements to this video that contribute to it being emotionally provocative while simultaneously succeeding in telling a story about a singular character. Welcome to perhaps the most unexpected video from Playmaster Plus yet. This is the lore of Brain Rot. The video begins with our cowboy chicken nugget alone in a rainy street. The atmosphere this creates is very obvious. Typically when the focus of a given story is in a dark and wet environment, it means that the themes of the narrative, or at the very least the current trajectory of the story, is gloomy or otherwise tragic. The forlorn look on the face of the chicken nugget contributes to this assumption based on his environment, and the addition of the cowboy hat lends itself to the idea of a lone traveler. Already, just based on the first initial scene given to us, we can assume that our main character is suffering through some sort of solemn time in his life, most probable to be loneliness given the visual clues available. Then comes the audio that provides us more insight to the situation at hand. It starts off with a couple of repetitions of it's not so bad, it's not so bad. Given the context we just discussed, it is safe to assume that this phrase is a vain attempt at convincing oneself that their situation is really not as bad as they think. The fact that it is said multiple times further strengthens this assumption, as repeating that kind of statement only lends itself to the idea that you are desperately trying to make yourself believe something that you just don't. In this case, that life isn't as bad as it seems. We then move into the song that is repeated throughout the course of the rest of the video, a distorted rendition of Cotton Eye Joe that makes the entire song sound infinitely more solemn than the original. Let's analyze the lyrics that are given to further understand the plight of our protagonist. If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? From this, a more specific story can be gathered. It is evident that the cowboy chicken nugget is meant to be singing this song given his mouth movements and animation, which confirms that the lyrics are personal to him. This shows that his loneliness stems from the lack of a romantic companion, and he believes if it only hadn't been for one man, he would have been married by now. Further specifics are unclear. Is Cotton Eye Joe to blame for his loneliness due to the fact that all the girls fell in love with him, leaving none to notice the cowboy nugget? Or was there a more personal drama between them? Did Cotton Eye Joe somehow steal away the love of Cowboy Nugget's life? The ending of Where Did You Come From, Where Did You Go suggests a lack of closure, which undoubtedly contributes to the Cowboy Nugget's implied depression. Cotton Eye Joe seemingly just appeared in his life, stole away his chances of getting married, and then supposedly vanished just as quickly. A lifetime of a lonely sorrow, all due to a period of misfortune. Whilst Cowboy Nugget is singing, the scenery behind him changes. The dark and rainy street changes to an alleyway, to a monument, to a snowy mountain, to a dock, to a beach, to a town, and then back again. This deviates from the initial setting that gave so much insight into the emotions at play, yet still manages to accentuate them. This shows Cowboy Nugget traveling the world, but in every single location his sad expression and lonely song remains consistent. This starkly displays that no matter where he roams, the feeling still clings to him. He cannot escape his own heart or mind, no matter how far he travels or what majestic locations he visits. Some of the locations seem to even blatantly differ from the initial gloomy setting. The beach, for instance, is far more suiting of a happy story or moment, but this juxtaposition serves to further accentuate the plight of our cowboy nugget, for even in a place as joy and peace inducing as this sunny beach, his depression remains because in every single one of these, he remains alone, no partner by his side, and all he can think about is how Cotton Eye Joe ruined his life. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you'll know that I also like to take a look at the thematic material presented in a story and see what morals or lessons can be derived from it and applied to real life. 
Here, we see that Cowboy Nugget is currently incapable of moving on, and insists that his problems can only be traced back to Cotton Eye Joe. I think some of this can be relatable to most people in one way or another, even if not in a romantic sense like for Cowboy Nugget here. The sentiment that what we want could have been ours if not for one thing can be applied to any unfulfilled goal or ambition. It can be hard to let go of the misfortunes of the past, but Cowboy Nugget shows us what can happen if we don't. The wonders of the world can pass us by and we can find no joy in it, as instead we are obsessed with the past. Furthermore, solely placing blame on an entity other than yourself discourages personal growth or improvement. Many of us will have a cotton-eyed Joe somewhere in our lives, but we mustn't let that completely steal away our happiness or force us to give up on searching for what we want out of life. Instead of resigning to a path of lonesome obsession like Cowboy Nugget, we should embark on a path of healing. Hopefully you enjoyed this rather off-brand video from what we usually cover, but I found the idea of deriving meaning from entertainment trends of the internet to be interesting. If you enjoyed this idea, let me know in the comments, as I have some more examples I could cover. In any case, the unknown persists, so the investigation continues.